I didn't want to be the one to tell you, but you're not gonna get a raise this year unless you start doing this. Hey, what's up? It's Emily and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm your internet big sister who just so happens to be a recruiter and I drop two videos a week, one to help you level up your career and one to help you level up your life. One thing about me, I hate capitalism. Another thing about me, I love money because I need it to survive. And here's how you're gonna make yours this holiday season. Bitter, first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding, hate that song. You're going to need to eliminate all guilt. I don't want you feeling guilty because it's a recession and you feel bad for that big scary company. I don't want you feeling nervous because you feel like you don't deserve it. You deserve to be compensated fairly. Inflation continues to rise, which means your salary needs to rise so that you can continue to eat, okay? You're also gonna have to figure out what the timelines are for your company's promotion and raise schedule. It is very rare for companies to just willy-nilly give people raises. Typically, they've got a couple of times throughout the year where they do this. If you're not familiar with your company's promotion or compensation schedule, just ask your manager. Typically, it's twice a year, once in the summer and once around the holidays. If you want to get a raise, you need to build a case for why you add value to the company. You can't just ask for more money because you feel like making more money. The money needs to be in direct correlation to the value that you add to the work you do. And how are you going to do that? You are going to keep an ongoing list of all of the amazing work that you do throughout the entire course of the year. Literally starting right now, I want you to have an Excel sheet, a Word document, whatever your document of choice is, and write down every single thing that you do well in your job on the day-to-day. -day. Maybe you led a big meeting, maybe you're mentoring someone, write down all of it because that's going to help build the holistic case to showcase why you're a fantastic candidate um, for a raise. What a weird sentence. Next, I need you to lock down exactly how much you're asking for. If you go in and ask for a raise, they could give you $5 and say, what's the issue, babe? It's a raise and it's not enough of a raise now, is it? So you need to go in in a position of power and know exactly how much money you're going to be asking for. My personal favorite way to do this is via this thing called the internet but my favorite website is Payscale. I love Payscale. I don't work with them at all. They should be working with me because I hype them up all the time. But basically it's a free website you can go to. It's international. You type in the location of the work you do, your title, your years of experience, and it'll actually tell you what the salary range you should be in is. Now, if you look at that and you've already exceeded that salary, just look at what the average raises are at your company and ask for around that. Typically it's between three to 5% year over year, and that's specifically for your base pay. But if you you look at that pay scale range and you are like way on the lower end, it's time to make sure you get to that midpoint. All right. That data is not always perfect, but it's pretty freaking accurate, dude. So I would really rely on that. Once you've selected what your number is, you need to ask yourself, is there a point where I'm going to walk away? Like if this company doesn't give you a raise, is that your catalyst for looking to, you know, to apply to another job? Or are you just going to say, okay, that's fine. And try again in a few months. You just want to make sure you're not wishy-washy when you go into that conversation and you actually have boundaries set for yourself. AKA, if you're about to walk away from that company, I need you to mentally prepare to say, thanks. You're not going to give me a raise. I quit and this is my two week notice. I will say today's economy is not making it super easy to look for a new job. Before you quit, make sure you watch my video on how to job hunt in a recession because there's just some other considerations we gotta think about here. You're gonna email your boss or whoever is in charge of compensation, but I would definitely recommend starting with your boss and ask for a 30 minute in-person Zoom or phone conversation. You do not wanna do this over email. It's really easy for the tone of our voice and our asks to be misconstrued, especially in that setting. So more personal we get, the better. In this conversation, I don't want you coming in hot. You don't wanna sit down and have your manager say, hey, how are you? And you stand up and say, I got a presentation and your ass is gonna pay me more. Play cool, my friend chill okay it's gonna be fine sit down do the pleasantries follow my templates okay and then make more money repeat after me i'm gonna pretend my boss's name is susan Susan, I am so enjoying the work that I've been doing on this team over the last two and a half years. I've really enjoyed, insert the five or six projects that you're really proud of, that you succeeded in, see what I did there. And I'm really proud of the impact I've made on, insert some of the impacts you've had. When I start to think about my career progression, as well as inflation and some of the other economic factors, I wanted to get a sense as to if there's an opportunity for me to be eligible for a raise. Silence. Don't go in with your number. You don't go in there and say, if you don't raise my shit by $10,000, I'm quitting. Don't do that. It's not necessary, okay? Wait for what Susan is gonna say, because Susan might say, 
Emily, I'm so happy you said that. We're actually undergoing our review. What's the range you're looking at? Or she might say, no, 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 we're not doing raises. If they say, no, 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 we're not doing raises, that's where, like I said, you need to decide if you walk away. If the conversation is taking a bit of a positive turn, it sounds like it's on the table, ask. I have a range in mind. Would you prefer I share that or would you rather connect with the HR team? I'm happy to wait, you let me know what's best. You don't want it to sound like a demand because they're more likely to advocate for you if you're not being a pain in the ass. If they want to hear the range, you share the range, but the number you have that we found on Payscale is more so just a mental benchmark of what you are and are not willing to accept. After that verbal conversation, follow up with a written email thanking them for the their time and reviewing what you discussed, AKA now you've got a paper trail to confirm this conversation happened and they said you were getting a raise because sometimes they say stuff and it evaporates and I just don't want that for you. Literally after that, you wait. <laughs> like there's nothing else you can do. I wouldn't recommend multiple rounds of negotiation in cases like this, given that you still work at the company. If they come back and say no, usually that means the answer is no and you just have to make a difficult decision. Now these are things I want you to like think about and consider. A lot of companies right now are undergoing mass layoffs. So budget is really tight. It is very possible that most of us are not getting year end bonuses or raises this year. I don't think that's a slap in the face. That's it. That's the formula. I hope that it's helpful. If you feel like you need other career navigation advice, whether it's transitioning careers, interview prep, resumes, confidence, communication, or if you want some advice on how to live a happier, more confident, holistic life, I've got playlists for both of those things. Don't forget to check me out on other platforms. I exist. I do exist. That was existential. I'm on TikTok and Instagram. And I got a careers podcast with even more freaking content. So make sure you're checking that out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Leave a comment. What do you think of this setup? Free foot pics. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm on the couch today because I'm effing tired and I did not feel like sitting at my desk. So let me know. Actually, this is what I do want to know. Do you prefer the couch setup or do we prefer the desk setup? That's what I need. I need information on. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me. Goodbye.